Hey guys, so the last time we were here, we were just uh, working through our supply budget spreadsheet and we basically just got to the point where we added a title. We had our budget of $65. We had our topics or our categories or labels here, supplies and cost. And we added one item of backpack for $14.50. Now remember, we hadn't... Uh, we hadn't um, formatted this cell yet to be in dollars, but just like we did here, we typed a 65. All we had to do was click on the money up here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a group of cells all the way down through um, B16. So from my first cell, B6, to B16, I'm going to click in the first cell in the middle of it, hold my mouse down, drag down to B16, and I'm going to go ahead and format them as currency by clicking the dollar sign. So go ahead and do that so that now whenever I type a new supply, it'll automatically make that in dollars. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and you're going to have a handout, school supplies price list, that you can choose to continue adding supplies here. Now, I want you to estimate just in your head as you're going through, you don't want to go over the $65 budget. So go ahead and push pause here and let everybody have some time to add some supplies. Put the supply name in the column A and its cost in column B. Push pause here. Alright, now that I have all of my supplies in, at the very end of your supplies in cells um, 16 and 17, A16 and A17, I want you to write total expenses and money left over. So we're going to um, go ahead and create some formulas so that it will calculate for us to see if we met our budget and if we need to make some changes here. So first of all, I want to drag my column to be a little bit wider so that I have a little space here after money left over. So to do that, remember you're going to hover your mouse in between the line between A and B so that I get that big bold blue line with a double arrow. I'm going to click and hold my mouse and I'm just going to drag it over a little way so that I have a little bit larger space there. Okay, so go ahead and widen your column A. Push pause here until everybody has that done. Great. Now I also want to bold some things on my spreadsheet. I want my title to be a little bit larger font, so I'm going to make it uh, size 14, and I'm going to make it bold, so do that. Remember, your font size is the number one on your toolbar, and the B for bold. I'm going to highlight budget and 65 and make those bold. I'm going to highlight supplies and cost and make those bold. And I'm going to do total expenses, money left over, and the two cells next to it that have nothing in them yet, I'm going to make those bold. So go ahead, push pause here until everybody has those all bold and formatted. All right, now my total expenses is going to be a function that I can put in that will automatically add the cost of all these supplies. Anytime I want to add a function, remember you need to start with the equal sign. So you're going to put equals and the function for adding those cells together is called the sum function. You've heard that before in math, sum, S-U-M. So if I type equals and S-U-M, I see a list of a whole bunch of functions that contain that word. I'm going to click on the one that just says S-U-M, and then it lets me click on the cells that I want to add together. If for some reason this box is in the way and it's over my cells that I want, just click on this little arrow right here and it will minimize that little box so that you don't have that anymore. But if I do that, I then have to click after my parentheses so that I get my blinking cursor again now in that box. Okay, so now it should say equal sum and notice it added my opening parentheses. I'm going to click in the first cell that has a price. So I'm going to click in my cell B6. I'm going to hold my mouse down and drag down through all of my price cells and then let go of my mouse click. So now it has an orange dotted box around those cells and now it says equal sum parenthesis B6 is my first cell. The colon means everything in between 
and then B15 is my last cell. So add everything between cells B6 and B15. Now I need to do my closing parentheses, so hold your shift key and zero for the other parentheses. Once I have that in there, I can hit enter and it automatically added my cost up. Now, if this number that you have here is more than your budget of $65, that means you've spent too much and you'll need to get rid of or delete some things, okay? So push pause here until everybody has their total expenses function in uh, the, the box there. All right, now we need a function to know how much we have left of our starting budget of $65. So again, instead of me getting out a calculator and taking 65 minus 6381 or just doing that with change in my head, I can use a function in my spreadsheet to do that for me. So again, it's a function. I need to start it with an equal sign. And this time, I don't actually have a function. I'm just going to use the two cell names and subtract them. So equals my cell was 65, so I'm just going to click the cell, and it puts in B3 because that's the cell that I want to start with, whatever is in cell B3. And then I'm going to do the minus sign on my keyboard, minus whatever's in cell B16. Okay, so now my, my equation here says equals B3 minus B16. So if those two numbers changed at all, it would automatically redo the math for me and I don't have to worry about it. So once I have that in, equals B3 minus B16, I hit enter on my keyboard again and it says you have $1.19 left. And that's all we are going to have time for today. So hopefully you had time to get through your total expenses and your money left over. Good luck.